What's going on guys? Today I want to talk to you about having a strong mindset and having the proper information. One of the things that I'm doing is bringing you first-hand experience. I'm not telling you what someone else is doing. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm showing you the receipts of my work. I'm showing you the proof of concept of my thesis that starting a business is better than any investment. And I have people, and this, this is funny. I have a weak minded individual who posted on Savage Finance and posted the same comment on this channel talking about what other people are doing. Let's go ahead and get this out the way. If you're gonna post something in the comment section, post what you're doing, not what you heard, not what you think is possible, but what you're actively doing. I am giving you proof of concept of my thesis with receipts of what I am doing, what I have done, what I know works. And there are many weak minded individuals who cannot fathom, because we're gonna talk about a lot of stuff in this video. But if this is your first time here, my name is Glendon Cameron. I'm your corporate coach. I'm your money coach, teaching you how to optimize your money, teaching you how to start businesses from scratch. Now, let's go ahead and dive into the weak minded. I can give you, if you're broke, I could tell you something right now that will make you a lot of money and it doesn't take a lot of money. You can go to Craigslist and what you can do is write at offers, literally offers to people, what I call a 50% offer. If they're asking for 300, you offer them 150. Just sit on Craigslist all day and offer people 50% of what they're asking for. Most of your emails will be ignored, but then you will get a few bites. Now this takes a very strong mindset to sit there and keep doing that. This is one of the reasons that so many people are not successful because they have a weak mindset at the first sign of trouble, of hardship or difficulty, they're out, they fold. Like these millennials, they'll quit a job in a heartbeat because they just have their weak mindset. If it's not what they want or if it's not you know, everything panning out the way that they expect it to, they're out. And this is a weak mindset. This individual who commented, left the same comments on there because essentially they're not giving me firsthand experience of what I've done. Like another thing we'll talk about, like this age corporation thing. Uh, those are outright lies. And you know how I know that people talk about this is good game. They've not done it. Because if you were to go to one of these websites and buy an age corporation and buy these trade lines, you would see that the stuff doesn't work. But people are living on the possibility of this being a good thing and it working out. It's crazy because you got to do the work. You got to do the work. And one of the reasons, and you know, like disruptive mail is gone. I've already had a bunch of emails of people missing it. One of the reasons, and this is something that I have run into with all of my YouTube channels. When I present a thesis, with disruptive mail, I was preventing a thesis instead of going MGTO or red pill or opting out, elevate your masculinity so you can win with women. Because I was dealing with so many people with a weak mindset, they were like, man, you know, I'm looking for choosing signals. If you are a man who's looking for choosing signals, you're missing out on 80% if not 90% of the women that you could have been with. I relay a story of I was on the plane, I was talking to this woman who was sending me, not choosing signals, but get away from me signals. And I kept talking to her, kept talking to her, ended up having sex with her and we were in Chicago. And this woman 
exhibited not one choosing signal. She didn't exhibit. And I was talking about this stuff and I was talking about this stuff and people keep pushing back because of these weak mindsets. Like right now, statistically, the average person in the stock market doesn't make any money. Statistically, don't take my word for it. Google it, Google it. But right now, because there are so many people, I'm going to call this the stock marketing, uh, the stock market marketing department, because this is something that you see. Let's go way back to the eighties. Remember the, what was this thing called? The ab roller. It was on television. Suzanne Summers, she was doing it. This thing did not work. Okay. It didn't work. But because of the vast level of marketing behind it, it made hundreds of millions of dollars selling this product that actually did not work. It didn't do what it claimed to do. And this is something, you know, th this is really good because in the eighties, uh, remember Tom Wu, uh, Carlton sheets, um, uh, Vast marketing, good marketing, good presentation can make up for a crummy product. We've seen this over and over and over again. And right now, the stock market marketing department, the Forex marketing department, the day trading marketing department, they're putting out the slick ads. You're seeing these people who are day traders, they're driving exotic cars, they're living in big houses, and they, they actually are not showing you that they're working hard. So what you're seeing is great marketing of crummy products. And where does this come into the weak mindset? People will take the path of least resistance. Here I am saying, start a business. You're looking at a two to three year journey. You're looking at hard work. I'm saying near you're not quitting your job. You're not quitting your job. You're going to keep your job. You're going to start your business. You're going to work harder. You're going to do more. There, there will not be a work life balance in the beginning. And I am competing with the stock market marketing department, which is hey man, you can buy these stocks. You can trade from home. You don't have to, you can work three hours a day and you make all this money and enjoy your life and have all this freedom. So, when you're selling to a person with a weak mindset, you cannot talk about the truth of the endeavor. Like I'm getting ready after I, I get the, the corporate toolbox built out and I'm going to be selling a course, how to do YouTube. And I can be honest and talk about what YouTube has done for me, but I cannot mention the hard work that goes into it because when you're talking to people who possess weak mindsets and you talk about work, struggle, application, hardship, oh, like here on this YouTube video, older videos, I talk about how I created the Craigslist marketing you know, system. It took me three months of writing ads, doing stuff. And whenever I talk about that stuff, these videos don't do that well because people uh, I had someone push back on me on Clubhouse and I really wish we could have continued that conversation because I had to go. But fundamentally, when you put a weak mindset and you put a lousy work ethic and you put laziness together, you have a recipe for a mediocre life. And this is one of the things that we are dealing with in terms of putting together this stuff. Um, because essentially what I've been doing and I've not been doing a good job of it. And this is one of the reasons that I've gotten rid of certain things. I'm just becoming more focused. I want to program you to win. My favorite football team, University of Alabama, they have a programming methodology to enable these guys to win. The University of Alabama has more players in the NFL than any school in the country. You think that happened by accident? There is a system, there is a programming, there's a methodology. First, we're gonna get these blue chip five-star recruits, and then we're going to crank up 
their ability. Look, you're a five-star recruit. You've got all this great talent. What we're gonna do is put you in this system of success and we're gonna program your mind. When you go to the University of Alabama, you have an expectation that you're gonna win more than you're gonna lose. I think in the last 10 years, Alabama has lost 10 or 11 games. In 10 years, 10 years. And this isn't a mistake, it's a part of the Nick Saban system. It is a system where they program people for success. And one of the things that I've been doing, because essentially when I go after what's called a sacred cow, right now the stock market is a sacred cow. Even though statistically the average person in the stock market doesn't do that well financially, but it is a sacred cow. Going back to the ab roller, if you look at the stock market marketing department, you're, you're bombarded with all of these ads. You should get in the stock market. Dave Ramsey, you should get into index funds. And essentially, if you put money in the stock market over a long period of time, you can make money. And we're talking four to five decades. And essentially, you're putting money in the stock market, you're putting money in the stock market, and you're not taking money out the stock market. The stock market marketing department has people gassed up on, you know, especially with this game stop stock short thing going on that people feel in certain situations, it is true that they can make a lot of money with little to minimum effort, which is the antithesis of many of the things I teach because I teach you, you're going to have to work hard. And when I'm talking to someone with a weak mindset, because this is why I get all of this pushback, the average person in cryptocurrency is not gonna make a lot of money. You may make some money, but you're not gonna make life-changing money. The average person in the stock market, you're gonna, you might make some money, but you're not gonna make life-changing money. You start a small business, you will make life-changing money. This is my thesis. This is the thing that I keep pushing out here, but when I'm dealing with individuals with weak mindsets, people who are programmed for failure, going back to the ab roller. It didn't work. It did not do what it claimed to do. And this product made hundreds of millions of dollars. So I see a similarity with the stock market, Forex, day trading, the, the marketing behind these things is great. It's exceptional. But the practical reality, just like the ab roller, people bought the ab roller, used it for a little bit, then cast it aside. And this is what's happening with the stock market stuff. Like right now, because uh, I got a video that's going to pop up on Savage Finance. Like there is a huge fascination with dividend stock portfolios right now. And I've crunched the numbers. And for me, the yield isn't exciting as someone who has a job that they hate, that maybe they want to get out, get out of or get away from. I don't know, put that in the comments, but essentially I want to program you to win. And for me, the way that I operate, the way that I work, programming you to win is arming you with factual information. And this is why I get so much pushback because I'm telling you the truth and people don't want to hear that. Especially the weak minded individuals who are literally leaving the same weak, moist estrogen lace comments on both my channel. They just copied and paste because they wanted my attention because essentially what I'm making these individuals do is confront reality. They're like, but Glendon, I want to believe that I can get rich in the stock market, even though I only make $33,000 a year and I can only deploy 300 bucks a month into the stock market. I want to feel that that's going to make me rich. I, I understand that what you're talking about is more plausible, but that's going to take work, man. And I, I just don't want to work. So I am creating an environment where their, their react, their expectations, their belief systems are, are, they're starting to be 
confronted. I'm creating cognitive dissonance. That's what I'm creating because essentially this is why they come for me so hard. This is why people make videos about me talking about my thesis because I am triggering people and I'm making these folks confront reality and they don't like it because reality, the truth can be ugly. And the reality is if you're making $33,000 a year and you're investing $300 per month in the stock market, you're more than likely will never be rich. This is facts. This is reality. Once again, I, I will give you this hypothesis. Your name is John. Your wife's name is Sally. Together, you make $60,000 a year. You start a cleaning service on the side. Your first year, you make profit of $1,500 per month, $18,000 per year. You have literally increased your income 50% in one year. 50%, $18,000 is a greater yield than you would get if you put 300 bucks in the stock market or 300 bucks in the cryptocurrency. You would have a greater yield. And by year four, your business is making $5,000 per month, which is $60,000 a year. And you and Sally still have your jobs. You have this business, you're working hard, you're doing these things, but you've literally created a system where your income is going up 100% in four years. Name me one in investment that's going to do that. Name one investment. D d you know, once again, this is my thesis, especially if you have low income. Now, it gets a little different if you have a high income. If you're making 200, 300, 500, a million a year from a job, you have the income to leverage into investments where you can become a millionaire. But if you have low income, which 80% of the country has low income, you do not have the economic ability to leverage your income into wealth, which is why you need to start a small business. And this is my thesis. And this is one of the things, because when you're dealing with the mentally weak, when you're dealing with the people who, because essentially uh, this individual made a comment like, I haven't even talked about resale and talking about going out and buying stuff to sell. Essentially that's work. I don't want to work, Glendon. You don't understand. I want you to sell me something where I don't have to work, where I can double my income and work half the hours. That's what I'm looking for because I'm a lazy so-and-so. And once again, my thesis is rooted in practical results. Because essentially every month when I look into my personal checking account, I see more money in there than it was in there the month before. I look into my corporate accounts, I see more money in there than it was in there the month before. So that is proof positive that my thesis is correct, which is what I'm trying to share with you, what I'm trying to bring with you, because I want to program you for success and we're going to work on this together. But essentially you have got to become mentally stronger. You've got to become so mentally strong that when something goes wrong, you're like, okay, well that didn't work the way I want. So we're going to do this next thing. And you just keep on, you just keep on. But essentially if you're mentally weak, you're going to quit at the first hardship, the first sign of difficulty. And then you're going to look for one of these things by the stock market, like essentially, Anyone that is selling a course about stocks, and let's talk about it. There are people, and this is something that is never said on any YouTube channel. There are what's called exceptional people. You may have someone out there who has the ability, the mental tools to turn $5,000 into $100,000 using the stock market. We have geniuses. We have people who can eat pizza every day of the week and have a six pack and not work out. God has given people different genetic strengths. So there could be this one person out here who could turn 5,000 into 100K, then turn around and do it again and again and again. This is what's called an exceptional person. This is not normal. Case in point, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, they were exceptional basketball players. Can they teach you to play basketball like they can? No, they can't. 
because you don't have the genetic gifts. You don't have the foundation. Kobe Bryant was very close to Michael Jordan in physical gifts. And that's why he got to such a high level of basketball and that's why he got the championships. But Kobe Bryant, may you rest in peace. Kobe Bryant could not teach you how to play basketball like he does if you're five foot six and with very little athletic ability. And this is one of the things that gets lost because you see these people who are doing it, the stock market marketing department, and they're making it seem like everyone can do this stuff. Essentially, I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible. But if you have a weak mindset, you're doomed from jump. You're doomed. And like I said, I've saw this with multiple channels. This is why I deleted some certain things. And the um, disruptive mail has now become the um, how to make money online channel. I will be talking about the stuff that I do over there. That's where that content's going to go. If you were on there and you were like, and I can already tell a lot of people who, who don't want this information, they want the dominant, the disruptive male stuff, but it's going away because once again, I, I have a five year plan and I have to make sure that everything is in alignment and the disruptive male wasn't in alignment with everything else. So that's why I had to go. But once again, I, I got a comment like I don't understand options trading. Like I'm really quick and fast to tell you if I don't know something, I don't understand something. You want to know why I can easily do that? Because I've had so much success over here on the stuff that I do know that my confidence doesn't get impugned when there's something I don't understand. I'm like, I don't understand this. Hey, I need help. I don't understand this because I have high confidence. I, you know, if I don't know something, I don't know something. I'm not that egotistical to fake it or pretend that I know something that I don't. I will, you know, many times in live stream, someone asks me a question, it's like, I don't know what that is. I don't lie to you. And this is why with my thesis, that if you're a low income or an average person, you need to start a small business more so than investing where later on, after you have your long-term emergency fund, you have your short-term emergency fund, you have your family operating account, you're debt free. At this point, you can become an investor. And right now you have people with student loan debt, car payments, credit card payments, and other debt obligations trying to be investors. And they're looking for these exceptionally sophisticated financial devices where they can leverage 500 into 50,000. And that's the dream because, um, the stock market marketing department is very powerful, just like the marketing of the ab roller. Remember Suzanne Summers? She was thin, uh, she was pretty, she was a great spokes model for the ab roller. Even though from a scientific perspective, the ab roller didn't work, but it didn't matter. The marketing was so on point. The marketing was so crazy. The marketing was so persuasive. It was such a winning marketing program for a crappy product. And this is what my thesis, because like essentially, I'm gonna continue to, you know, like once again, please put in the comments why is dividend stock so attractive? Because I crunched the numbers. You can take less money invested in real estate and get a 3x return than you can with dividend stock. And this is paying property taxes. You can still 3x your money with real estate. So I don't, once again, I don't understand the big appeal of this. I can understand like I got 100K in my personal checking and I'm probably gonna put it in some dividend stock so I can extract, I think that's gonna get me um, three or five, three to $4,000 in dividends. Not really exciting, but compared to what my bank is paying me, that is more of a yield, more of a return. So it's more money. So I may do that. But other than that, essentially with the stock market marketing department, you, you, you got to have like two to three million in dividend stock to get six figures. 
you can have a business that you can literally invest $25,000 and be at six figures in two to four years. I mean, you know, there's a lot of talk about smart money. The smart money is doing all of these quote investments, these low yield investments. I'm really questioning how smart is the smart money when they can't do simple math. Real estate has a greater return than most of the stock market does. Unless you're doing exotic options trading because I've crunched the numbers. I've literally put pen to paper and crunched the numbers. And you know, especially if you're doing Airbnb, you're gonna get a greater return with your real estate than you will in the stock market with the same money or even less. So the stock market marketing department is very powerful. It is very persuasive. And I feel that, you know, if you have a business owner and let's say the business owner turns 65 and they sell their business for 20 million and then they put 10 million in stock, that's a whole different ball game than you making $33,000 a year and you putting three hundred dollars a month in the stock. That's a whole different ball game. That's a whole different world. And essentially, what I want to do, and once again, the goal is to create one hundred thousand new business owners with a net profit of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, so they can, you know, because I'm about to tell you, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the average American is game changing. You want to know why? Average American makes $30,000 a year. 250,000 is like eight times their current income. That's a game changer. If you have the right debt to income ratio, $250,000 can get you into a million dollar house. You can do a lot with 250, a lot with the proper financial controls. So that's the goal. 100,000 new corporate citizens with a net profit of $250,000. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna create more than one business. You got one business over here, this business is making 100. You got another business over here that's making 80. Then you got another business over here that's making like 75. This is how we're gonna do it. So let me know what you think about this video because are you a person with a weak mindset? Are you easily seduced by the stock market marketing department? And once again, to the individual who, because I know you're watching, even though you've been blocked, what have, how much money have you made? Because th this, this is something that, that has been really, really consistent. I'll have someone that'll put a comment up and then I would ask them, how much money have they made? And I never get a response because they're giving me third party information. They're never telling me what they're doing. And, and then the people who do chime in, in the comments, they give me percentages versus hard, cold numbers. Don't give me percentages. Give me actual numbers. If you got $10,000, you turn in $30,000, say that. Don't give me this percentage crap because high, you know, percentages hide under performance. And percentages also, because this is something I've consistently seen that a lot of people on the internet don't want to quote, share their net worth in these money conversations, but they want to put out their thoughts without really being 100% transparent, which is very, very interesting, which is very interesting. So with that, if you wanna join me in this new revolution of becoming a business owner versus an investor, so in time you can become a, an investor of significance, not someone who's putting two to 300 bucks a month in the market or in their 401k, but someone that's putting away real numbers, real dollars, so they can get a bigger investment, so they can get bigger yields. Like my theory, my, my, my plans, my four year plan, in four years, I wanna buy an apartment complex, 10, $15 million, which means I'm gonna have to put 25 to 30% down. I gotta put millions down, and I will go in there with a you know, 25, 30% equity position. And then, you know, even with servicing debt and property taxes, I should still eck out cash flow at about 500, 600,000 a year. And as I pay down that debt, 
and you know, rents go up, my cash flow position is going to improve. So I should get to my goal of a million dollars a year of passive income. So I'm not going to be over here doing this investment or getting in this kind of bit. You know, I may start another business and generate cash that way, because essentially I could take twenty, thirty thousand dollars, start a business and get that business to six or seven figures. I may do that, but I'm not going to be over here in the stock market. I'm not going to be over here in cryptocurrency because my thesis has been proven with actual receipts real money, real results, real deal. So I cannot be seduced by the stock market marketing department because I'm looking at those yields over there and I'm looking at my yields, $100,000, 15 million return. I don't know of any stock that has done that well. I don't know, but join me in becoming a corporate citizen. The links below. Um, we had a training the other night and we're going to have more training and we're going to be doing more Q and a, and one of the things that we should be doing is teaching you how to start real businesses. So you can start making real money links below, go ahead and do the art of holding, give us 24 hours to add you. If you're on the payment plan and a little bit longer, if it's the weekend, cause we get a lot of people who seen the buy on Friday cause they're, they're going to take the weekend and dive into some training, which I can understand appreciate that. So that's all I got for you guys. Leave your comments. Let me know what you thought of this video and I will see y'all in the next one.